Yeah, let us discuss the topic finding PDNF and PCNF using truth table example 2. So let us say this is the given proportional function. Just for the simplicity, I have taken a simple one. So P implies Q implies R. So for this proportional function, I want to compute uh, PDNF and PCNF using truth table. Okay. So uh, as part of the step one, we know that first we need to construct the truth table for this expression P implies Q implies R. So since there are, uh, let me quickly explain how to construct the truth table. So there are three different proportions P, Q, R. So two power three equal to eight. So there will be eight possibilities. Therefore, in the truth table, there will be eight rows. Okay, that is uh, false, 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 true, uh, false, true, false, and so on. Okay. So anyhow, if you know uh, more details about how to construct the truth table, so kindly refer my earlier videos. So then uh, we need to do for P implies Q. So to compute P implies Q, we have to refer the P column and the Q column. And we know that uh, implication is false only in the TF case. That is, first proportion is true and the second proportion is false. Only it is false and the remaining all the cases it is true. So therefore, if you see, uh, this is the FF. So therefore, it is true. And here again, it is the FF. It is true. And it, this is FT. Third one is FT. Uh, therefore, again, true. Uh, again ft therefore true now see here fifth case tf so tf is false similarly sixth case also tf so therefore it is also false right and anyhow last two cases are, are true to and the true true cases it is true okay so this is how we computed p implies q now we need to p implies q implies r okay so that means we have P plus Q values here and R values are in this column. So between these two columns, we need to apply implication in this direction. Okay, again, we need to see a TF case. Only in the TF case, it is false. Just I'm marking only TF cases. So this is a TF case. Why? Because this is, we need to see this direction. So this is a TF case, therefore it is false. Again, again, this is the TF case. Therefore it is also false. I'm just marking only the TF cases. Okay, then again in this case, this is also TF case. So therefore it is also false. And the remaining all five cases, it is true. This is how we construct the truth table. Okay. So once we completing the construction of the truth table, then how we write the PDNF values, the values corresponding to true, the values corresponding to true are considered as PDNF. Okay. So true, true is here. And uh, what is this value? So it is zero, zero, one. So zero, zero, one is one. So therefore PDNF, we are taken one here. And next true is here. So that is zero, one, one. So zero, one, one in the equivalent decimal, uh, decimal value is three. Okay, therefore we are taken three. And the next true is uh, this one so one zero zero one zero zero is equal and decimal value is four therefore four is taken and then again here this is one uh, zero one so one zero one equal and decimal value is five so therefore five is taken then the last case is all truths all truths means one uh, one one so one 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 is seven so corresponding to true values, we take the combinations and uh, we write the equivalent binary values, okay? And of course, if you want to write, if you want to write the expressions, then for the one, this is expression. For the one, this is expression, why? Why, because we know that in the PDNF, a literal with a negation is considered as zero and a literal without negation is considered as one. So therefore it is zero, zero, one, which is, which is nothing but one. And this is a zero, one, one, okay? So this we are writing with the values, okay? Once we know the values, we can write easily the expression house. Zero, one, one is three, and this is one, zero, zero. So one, zero, zero is four, 
and this is a one zero one one zero one is five and this is one 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 uh, one one which is seven okay so and how i compute pcnf so whatever values they are left over in the pdnf remaining values we take in the pcnf so therefore here zero is missed so zero is taken then two is missed and six is missed therefore zero to six becomes a pcnf values but anyhow if you want to write the expression then so for the zero this is expression so please make a note for the pcnf when you want to write the expression for the sum term so a literal without negation is considered as zero and a literal with negation is considered as one so hence this p r q r r is zero 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 so zero 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 is zero and this is uh, a zero one zero there is a difference okay for the product term and the sum term there is a difference so zero one zero is two and this is uh, this is one one uh, zero which is six so this is how we compute or we find a pdnf and a pcnf for the given proportional function so step one is uh, we just uh, find the truth table then take the true values so true values are corresponding to pdnf and the remaining values corresponding to pcnf okay thank you